Hi guys, welcome back. I'm sorry if I sound a little bit weird. I was really ill this past week. I lost my voice and thank God it's back. Um, I was requested, I think about two weeks ago or last week, to do a skincare routine of like how I keep my skin clear. So I thought that I would bring that to you today and it shouldn't be too long because I really don't do much at all. I want to first start off by saying, uh, well actually I'll show you my skin first. So I don't have any face um, foundation or anything on. I am wearing like bronzer and concealer but like there's nothing actually on my face to cover up pores or anything like that. So this is it. I hope you like it. Daily I think one number one thing that I do is I let my skin breathe. Now I don't wear foundation, BB creams, anything besides a regular facial moisturizer every single day. Um, but I know, and I think that because it gets fresh air every day, it helps keep it clean and alive. Um, but I know that that's not the case for everybody. Not everybody is able to do it because they have severe acne or even just redness or anything that makes them feel insecure and they don't feel comfortable to go out of the house without makeup on. And if that's you, do you. Um, I'm just saying that's what I do, so I think that helps. But if that's obviously not your case or you're not able to do that, then don't, you know, you don't have to. But um, besides that, for products that I actually use, um, no, the one thing that I've been using actually for quite a while, since I was in high school I would say, is these things. They're called Triple Action Oxy Pads. They look like this. They come in different um, colors. This one is blue because it's a triple action, so it, it cleans your skin, it treats acne, and prevents new breakouts. Now I don't have acne, never had acne. I don't really get breakouts, but it, I think prevention is always better. An Oxy Pad looks like this. It's a white pad, it's wet, and it has holes in it, and you just basically rub it on your skin. I do it uh, once and after the gym. So like my one time that I use it is after the gym. In high school I used to use it after gym classes. After high school I never took gym, so or I took it in college or whatever. I use it when, on my own time whenever I go to the gym because after you go to the gym your skin is sweaty, all the dirt and everything has kind of like come out and if you don't wipe it away it's just gonna sit on your skin and naturally I think everybody knows that that is not good for you. So this literally you just rub it on your skin and it wipes away all the dirt, like everything, everything that is on the surface of your skin. It'll take it away and it'll come out looking really dirty. So you just throw that away, but it really does the job. Now this will dry out your skin because there's alcohol in it. So I mean if you have skin that's very sensitive to, to those kind of things, I would have suggest this, but if you have like normal skin, then this should be okay for you. But just as, after you finish wiping your face out, it feels a little bit cold, but once it dries off, then apply a good moisturizer to your face because if you don't, your skin is just going to start to peel because it's going to be too dry. So that's one of the things that I use. And um, speaking of moisturizers, what I use to moisturize my skin, it's not really um, a cream most of the time. Like It was a cream, but most recently I started to use this bio oil. Because bio oil, I heard, has a lot of good benefits for you. I'm on the back of the list a bunch of things, but really what pertains to us would be uneven skin tone, aging skin, and dehydrated skin. So this is what I use, and it works really, really well. I don't use this in the morning. I'll use a cream in the morning because if, I, if I'm going out, I don't want to look greasy up on my face. But at nighttime, when nobody's looking at me, I put this on, and in the morning, it leaves no residue, but your skin feels so supple and soft. It's just amazing. So I definitely love using this, and I think it's just helped because it's a gentle gentle moisturizer I think it's I don't know uh, really it doesn't have a lot of things that my skin can react to I guess you could say so I think that helps it stay smooth and then if I want to use a cleanser um, I don't use a cleanser really I don't um, there's a specific time of the month that <laughs> if I do break out or get any kind of irritation on my skin um, is during that week that I would use this and it's Biore's Deep Pore Charcoal Cleanser. It looks like this. It's black. <laughs> so it's kind of odd when you're like scrubbing on your face. But um, it's a smooth cleanser. It doesn't have pieces in it. Okay, so it won't exfoliate. But basically what I just do is I splash my face with water and then I pump this into my hands, work it a little bit on my hands, and then rub it into my face. Now if you have like um, a Clarisonic type of thingy, it's like the thing with a round brush, this will probably like work better with that versus your finger just because it'll work it in more because it's quite um, a thick consistency. Consistency, but I just use my hands because I don't have one of those things. Um, but yeah, I find Biore's products are really amazing. I use their pore strips for my nose um, for blackhead removal. And I just have always had great experiences. I had a lot of friends who suffered from acne in high school, and a lot of them used Biore, and there was wonders done on their skin. It was amazing. They look like completely different people. So I would really um, suggest you look into that line if you have 
trouble skin um, but this is what I use like about once a month I guess you could say when I do need a cleanser when is that time so that is that and then for the last thing if I need a kind of exfoliant what I what my ideal exfoliator that I love is a sea salt scrub by Lush and I prefer the one that's self-preserving because they have one that's um, self-preserving and one that is not so they have to add stuff to it to be able to preserve it I like the self-preserving one because it's, it's more gentle and also because it has less of the added things into it to make it preserve um, but if I'm not using that then what I do enjoy or have enjoyed using is a St. Ives fresh skin apricot scrub now I've heard like people say really really horrible things about this and then really really good things about this so I think it's kind of like to each their own kind of thing it's not one of those universally it kind of works great on everybody I think everybody has a different reaction to it for me personally it has worked well it's just um it's just like sorry it looks gross but it's like this white cream with little specks of orange in it which is I guess the apricot um, so what I like this for is exfoliation as I said it is quite a harsh exfoliator though so that's why I really don't use it often on the daily I really don't use anything um, but that is something like if I feel like I'm just really accumulating a lot of dead skin I just need to fresh like once over I will use that and it'll do the job and then I'll just follow up with bio oil so I hope that this has helped you guys I'm really sorry if it wasn't too informative I just don't really do much I've been blessed with good skin and but I know that there's a lot of people who haven't and that they struggle with it but there's tons of ways that you guys can get out of it so don't feel bad for yourself or don't feel put down just do whatever makes you feel confident anyways guys um i'm still taking requests so if you want to see anything else don't hesitate to leave it in the comments below please do leave in the comments though one moisturizer that you'd like to use for your skin because i'm looking to change things up a little bit with my moisturization um so yeah if you can do that i'd really appreciate it i'll see you guys again next week bye take care